so welcome again uh, I decided I need to build a mech lab on the side of this base so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing um, I'm going to speed it up as usual um, so yeah here we go so I start building a small floor here because um, I want to have a nice big wide area to work in while I'm testing different designs stick a bit of water out because I like that water look at the moment I'm into a bit of that water um, it looks nice it has a background with the stars through it decided to make it a bit thicker which took a bit of time to fit in all the spaces but other than that and um, yeah I mean I'm a big fan of all those Gundam and mecha anime so I wanted to make a big square room and uh, just so I could like build the mech inside and then fly it out which is pretty much what I'm doing here um, I'd had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do but the white was so bright that I couldn't use white as much as I wanted to which has its uses and you know it's not a bad thing um, and yeah so there's the ceiling just trimming off a little bit of the excess get it all nice and smooth fill in these gaps as well see that's a lot of it a lot of it is like gap filling sometimes you just gotta be like oh there's a little bit here um, and then I extend the water all the way around and yeah like I say I think the water looks much better than glass certain situations depends if you want it to look like it's got frames or not I wanted that one big sheet of glass look so and like I say I've just used a purple and black frame for it really <laughs> and so now comes the fun part making the door and I figured this back wall would have most of the detail on it because it's the station side um, I messed around with a couple of arch designs before I ended up with the final one. So I'm just sort of tweaking things really, just going, ah, oh, just add a little bit here, see how that looks, and look around, at, you know. Obviously you've got to write what this is, so mech lab, hell yeah. Yeah, that looks all right. And then derp, oh, I hate it when you do stuff like that. <laughs> had the wrong block selected and I had to rewrite it and so yeah I wanted a sort of panelling style to the back wall there so that's what I've ended up using the white blocks for and then I filled in the gap with glass not glass water again like I say using a lot of water in my builds lately going to make a little door this is only be good for like drones or tiny mecha the big mecha are going to go out through the floor but i haven't made that door yet so there's going to be a big hatch in the floor which obviously they can fly up into uh -huh. <laughs> keep clear that's right or you'll get blasted of course the letters wouldn't fit would they because I didn't think about how big the writing was going to be I should have made the writing and then made the door <laughs> but it's cool I just put a backing on there and it looks fine there we go beautiful right and so that's pretty much the build done so I'm going to slow it down and you can have a little look when you do a slow fly around so there's the, uh, the first docking door the first plex door there's the lab just a big empty space so I can just build something <laughs> and um, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, like furniture, lab equipment or something behind the keep in the corner there. So 
obviously we've got a door leading through into the main hangars and uh, the labs further up at the factory and the ballistics labs on the other side so yeah let's have a little go at making a mech quickly so I don't think this is this is just my practice run so let's see I start off with some power regenerator blocks because I figured I'm gonna need some power so I may as well put it inside the middle of the mech made a rough outline of what I'm gonna build and then started putting some symmetry and some hull blocks on. Um, I realised quickly that this was too narrow and it was... It, it, I mean, it, I could have finished it, but um, it's too narrow, basically. I needed to make everything much wider if I was going to clad it all with hull. And I want to use different colours, so it started looking like a big gorilla. And I thought, hmm, do you know what? This isn't going to work. And I started again. And then the next video, which I'm going to be doing, is going to show uh, the full build of that mech. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.